All right, today, guys, we're going to do an update on my 1950 Chevy pickup because we've done some work on it recently. It's been sitting for a while, unmoved. Soon, we're going to need to replace the brake to brake um, valves in it, and then. Everything should be good. Ow. Man, this truck's on. But we went and spent a surprising nearly 400 bucks. It was 365 for the radiator, and then by the time taxes hit it, it was 400 bucks and processing. <laughs> 100 dollars more, and we would have been able to buy a brand spanking new high-performance radiator from B&G Auto Parts. And see, we had to buy a spacer block for the fan because the fan was actually the original fan. I'll take you back here and show it to you. The original fan was rough and it was actually hitting on a pulley. And right there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little hairline crack. And after paying 400 bucks, and you can see how it's bent. After paying 400 bucks for a radiator, I ain't going to risk, and neither is my dad wanting to risk, that fan blade flying off going into the radiator. And so we were going to do it with washers, a bunch of washers and stuff, but we didn't have enough washers. So we just went to B&G, picked up a spacer block, took his fan from his old 19, I think a 64 Chevy step side high performance custom we took the uh, six uh, the straight six fan off of it of the engine that was previously in it repainted it and put it back in here took the pulley off painted it everything looks good now but we pulled off the uh, valve cover and it's dry as a bone up there quite literally I and mean, it may look wet on the camera, but um, there is absolutely no oil going up there at all. You can see right there was the actual oiler. but it's broke off at the tip when normally it'd go up to the top and start oiling. So, we got to figure out a way to fix that. We may even just pull the plug out of the side of the engine and run it all the way up to the top of the valve cover and drop it right in. We're going to replace my mirrors. We're going to try to go back with the original. Still got the old rallies on it. Haven't replaced any of the glass yet, but that's just all comes with working on it. And everything's still the same in the interior, except for we put a new bungee strap in <laughs> to hold my door closed. We got all the brakes bled out and everything. I showed y'all some videos of that, some real short videos. And so pretty much all we need to do is put new brake lines on the front and then we might put new brake lines on the rear even though we're having no trouble with them. It never hurts when you have old brake lines. And our plans are is to possibly paint this truck black again when it was originally a gr dark green, sort of like a tomato green. In between the tomato green and dark. That's pretty much it. We're going to replace the tail lights on it. Headlights don't work. The only light that works is this little parking light. Somebody added a little aftermarket horn on it. Just a bunch of stuff. And in case y'all are wondering, the paint's starting to fleek off of it and it ain't looking as sharp as what it used to be. But that's a 59 Ford with $3,000 of 
interior design. It used to be black diamond pleat all the way around. Now it's all custom. And we're going to install that booster. But that's pretty much it. That I can think of. Oh, we got to put new locks in it. But it ain't going nowhere no time soon. So no worry about that for this minute. But after we get the brake lines on it, oh, oh, and I forgot to say, down here, can't really see it all that great, but down there where you see that little shiny line down there, there's actually, they put in a drain plug when they uh, changed my radio, uh, changed the core on the radiator, and we're going to have to um, cut down there on a reinforcement piece, cut it so that way the drain plug can slide over it, because originally, you can see that we have the bracket of the radiator sitting inside this bracket that holds the radiator. And normally it'd go right on the uh it'd go on the outside instead of the inside like it is right now and it'd go right in there, right up against that, and it'd give the fan just enough to where it would not touch it because these things were meant to have very close fan systems so that it could be optimal cooling capacity without one of those Forgot what they're called, but they go on your radiator or Roush or something. And they just come on the other side and go on the nut. But instead, we're forced to work with this tiny space right here. But it's supposed to come over here, and, and it won't drop down because it's hanging up on the drain plug. That's pretty much it for today.